Hey guys, welcome to my channel. This is Makeup by Carla Misa on YouTube and today I'm going to do a first impression and review of one of the most controversial and trending lip products in the makeup industry right now and these are the Mino or Minau Kiss Proof Soft Lipstick. So it comes in this nicely boxed packaging and at the side of it, you could actually take a peek of the shade of the product right inside. The shade is stated down below and they have shades in numbers. I have it in the shade 16 and 12. I got these lipsticks from Ink Heart Shop or Ink Heart Winter on Instagram and I'll be putting all the links down below. I like the packaging. It's quite decent for a very affordable product. It has 4.2 grams of product. It also has a manufacturing date and expiration date in the packaging. It's bound to expire on February 2019. The ingredients are stated in the box. All I know is that this product has parabens. So let's open the box. So it comes to the product inside and apparently it also has a flyer inside. It says here, these are the information for long-lasting lip gloss. Dazzle Glass Cream Lip Gloss and Luxury Lipstick. I think these are the other variants for the No Lip Series. The packaging is pretty nice. I really love it. It comes in this kind of like chubby crayon, but it's not too chubby. As compared to my Revlon Color Burst Matte Balm, as you can tell, it's a little bit thinner than the Revlon one. When you open it up, it comes in a crayon like pencil. It has to be sharpened just because of a lash and twist where you can lift the product up. So I'll forward you guys to the next clip where I apply this lip product on my lip. So let me give you swatches of my Kiss Proof Soft Lipsticks and this shade is in the shade of number 12. It's a beautiful deep vampy burgundy red lipstick which is a beautiful statement lipstick to wear. Now the other one is in the shade of 16. This is a beautiful corally pink lipstick which is perfect for everyday use. I'm going to use this shade in number 12 for today's first impression and as you can tell upon application of this product, it glides on very smoothly, it's very creamy and it doesn't tug my lips whatsoever. It is very pigmented as well and I just love the color. Since this is a crayon lip pencil, it was very easy to apply precisely on my lips. And yes, I instantly fell in love with the color. It's so gorgeous and I was really surprised how quickly it became kiss proof in a matter of seconds. It is now 5.35 p.m. in the afternoon. I'll catch you guys later for an update to see how this lipstick will last on my lips. Hey guys, I'm back for an update. It is now 8.24 p.m. in the evening. We just finished eating and for the most part, I fade na yung lip product sa inner area of my lips. As you can tell, matte pa rin naman. Medyo may transfer na siya. Dahil medyo nabasa siya. I ate barbecue. So far, it's not drying my lips whatsoever. Yun nga lang, obvious na obvious na yung fading niya. So, I probably need to retouch but I'm doing this review. So. I'm back for an update. It is now 9.26 p.m. in the evening. I just finished eating dinner and I ate barbecue and all that jazz. So, there was a ton of barbecue sauce on my mouth. It is quite obvious that it has faded in the inner parts of my lips. It doesn't feel drying whatsoever as of the moment but Medyo nagiging, nagka-crumble siya konti and it, it has settled onto my lip lines and medyo dry siya tingnan. Let's see if it's still kiss proof. So there's a little bit of transfer, I don't know if you can see that. I'm going to try to reapply this product on my lips to see if okay bang mag retouch using this product. So I have already reapplied the product on my lips and so far okay naman yung application. It's not as creamy and smooth upon first application pero okay naman. It doesn't feel drying whatsoever naman on my lips. So carry lang. Um, I'm not really that sensitive when it comes to matte lipsticks because I'm really used to wearing matte lipsticks. And so far it's not drying at all. Hindi masakit. Hindi rin masikip yung feeling sa lips. So, so far so good. It still looks nice naman. It's, it looks matte. When I applied it full on, di mo na nakikita na the product settles on your lip lines. Let's check if it's kiss proof. Dito naman sa kabila. Kiss proof na ole. Mabilis siyang mag dry guys. Yun yung napansin ko. Kaya, ang bilis niya maging kiss proof. So, I'll catch you guys later for my final update. 
so I had to switch to my phone because I lost memory on my camera but I just finished eating ice cream and as you can tell the product has already faded a little bit on the inner area of my lips while I'm talking you can actually see that the product has completely faded in the inner part of my lips so for my verdict first of all I really love the shade that I am wearing on my lips this is in the shade of 12 and it's super gorgeous it's super matte I love the texture it did not feel drying at all on my lips so that's what I really loved about it though it has a really dry formulation and finish but the thing is you really have to reapply every after eating nevertheless application was easy for me although hindi siya ganun ka smooth like the first application but it was really nice to apply unlike liquid lipsticks na medyo mahirap and reapply so far i'll give this product a thumbs up ingredient wise hindi ko lang alam kung meron bang harmful ingredients sa product na to now, what i don't like about this is that you have to sharpen it up it doesn't twist up like other chubby sticks like the one from Revlon. Ito kailangan mong i-sharpen and I don't have a decent sharpener for this. So I have yet to look for that. Pero color finish reapplication okay naman. Ang lasting power lang medyo nag-fade talaga siya sa inner part of your lips. So you really have to reapply. Overall, I really enjoyed using this product. For a matte lip junkie like me na sanay nang gumamit ng matte lipsticks, it did not really feel drying on my lips. It is a dry formulation. It's not moisturizing at all. Pero it, it did not feel drying or hindi naman siya sumakit. Hindi naman sumakit yung lips ko. If you like this video, go ahead and click like down below. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment down below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you haven't already. As always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye! As always, thank you guys. <laughs> Comment if you have crayon like um it comes in a crayon like applicator. It comes in a crayon. So I'll forward you guys to the next clip where I apply this lipstick on my bow.